What free things online should everyone take advantage of? If you're in the USA and you earn less than a certain amount of money, currently $69. Oh oh oh, you can use the same software to file your taxes for free. The system is called Free File. And companies that sell you tax software are trying very hard to make it difficult to find. Don't let them. Photopi. It's a Photoshop clone that is completely free, unintrusive side banner ad can be removed by a one-time payment, and has all the basic features of Photoshop. Using basically the same interface. If you're used to Photoshop and just need to get something quick done. There's nothing better out there. Best of all. It's completely contained within your browser. There's no installation. No local files. Not even an account or sign in. Has lots of old but free content. For example a lot of DOS games. Directly playable through the browser. Most large universities have their courses online for free. MIT OpenCourseWare. Project Gutenberg. Lots of free classic books. Skiplagged. Com for flights. It's so good that United sued them and lost. They essentially exploit the pricing manipulation that airlines use. Example. If you want to go from Phoenix to Atlanta. Sometimes a ticket from Phoenix to Fort. Lauderdale connecting through Atlanta is cheaper. This website finds those flights for ya. Just don't check in a bag. Edit. A succinct article highlighting tips and risks. Summary. Use it sparingly and you'll be good. Edit 2. The website's creator did an AMA 5 years ago. Maybe not everyone. But for students Zotero is a lifesaver. It will store your sources. Import them to a bibliography in whatever citation style you need. And even create in-text citations in your paper. It saves hours of work. Zotero. Org. Use Khan Academy for literally everything. It's free knowledge that you can use to clep out of university courses. Or to simply invest your time in a worthwhile topic. Free quality education is best education. Edit. Holy crap I go to take a nap and this post has both the most upvotes I've ever gotten. And my first Reddit silver. Two of them too. Y'all are awesome. I think I'll start reading through the responses now. And now platinum? Holy moly. I'm at a loss for words. Thank you. Edit edit. Oh my god y'all have some great ideas. It's incredible how such a small comment can spark such interesting conversations. Terms of service. Didn't read. A free site for people too lazy to read the entire to s. Edit. This is a crowdsourced project so please do contribute if you can. Library Genesis. A great place to look for and download college, university textbooks for free. As well as other books. Edit. As commenters have pointed out. It has unfortunately been blocked in some countries. A VPN, tour could help in this case. Edit. Removed direct link. My apologies. If you have a. A do email through your school that uses Gmail. You get unlimited Google Drive storage. YouTube lessons on how to do anything your heart desires. Dolly Parton's Imagination Library if you have a child younger than 5. The send an age appropriate book once a month. It's amazing. I have so many books for my daughter since I signed up and she loves getting them in the mail. Edited to add it is not available everywhere. But it is worth checking to see if it is available in your area. Thank you for the silver. Much appreciated. Canadians get a free Canada flag that was flown on Parliament Hill. Only a 40 year wait though. Nanite.com. One place to select what you want installed. Without all the hassle. I use it for freshly formatted PCs to reinstall everything. Edit. A few people are asking how to remove crap. PC Decrapifier. Com. Thank you for the plat. Gold and silver. I have my very own Christmas tree laughing face. Sci-Hub. Endless free college books. Cool math games. Com. Edit. My first gold came from a blast from the past. Thank you so much. Unsplash is where you can get free photos of just about anything. Provided by the photographers themselves. To do with what you like. Top Class Actions basically a site that lists active class action lawsuits you might qualify for. I've used it for trivial things like suing Red Bull for a free case because it didn't give me wings but on a serious note. It made me aware of the suit against Equifax for leaking my data. That should be a settlement worth over a $100.
it's a cool way to hold corporations semi-accountable and score some money, freebies for any wrongdoing that went under the radar. TLDR. It's literally free legal money. 1AYATO.COM. It is a car parts supplier. But their videos show exactly what tools you need, what parts you need, and how to do a repair yourself. Great money saver if you don't know much about mechanics. Someone I knew was going to get screwed by their mechanic, 700 bucks for a water pump replacement. Showed them that. They did it themselves for 30 bucks. It makes it quicker too. Knowing what tools you need ahead of time for your particular car. Edit. I agree they're not the best for parts. This was just about their videos. For parts. Rock Auto. Com is great. If you need an item quicker and have an advanced auto nearby. Order online and pick up in store. They almost always have a coupon online for at least 20% off. Which you can apply and pick up in store. Around 30 minutes later. Yet save quite a bit versus just going in and buying. Last edit. For those that are not mechanically inclined and do not want to mess with it. Use RepairPal. Com when you receive a quote and make sure the price is reasonable. It will give you a pretty general idea of what you should be paying in your area. It's not 100% but will help keep you from getting ripped off. Unfortunately, there are a lot of shops that will take advantage of a situation. Not saying all, of course, but that way you will know for sure. Thanks for the silver, as well. Ublock Origin. Best ad blocker by a mile. Websites are 95% ads and 5% content nowadays but Ublock brings balance to the force. Works on all browsers even mobile. My 90s TV. This is more of a novelty website. But I think it's pretty cool and you can lose yourself for hours with nostalgia. It basically uses YouTube videos to simulate watching TV in 90s and you can specify what year you want and what categories you want to see when you change channels. There is also a My 80s TV and a My 70s TV. Wikipedia. For fun just pick two random topics and try to get from one to other by following hyperlinks within the articles. You will end up just reading a bunch of interesting stuff. The Anki flashcard app for laptops is really dope for committing things to long-term memory and is free. Astronomer here. You can look up all the satellites flying over your house tonight. Including the ISS. Hubble Space Telescope. Those pesky Starlink satellites. And whatever else your heart desires. Complete with star maps and precise timing. The website is called Heavens Above and there is an Android app. But unfortunately no iOS 1 last I checked. For iOS I use, Sputnik. Which is free and tells me the ISS and Hubble passes overhead. It should be noted by the way that many if not most of these objects are visible even in a city if on a good pass right above you. So out and see some cool stuff. Google Maps. Navigation app. Blender. 3D modeling software. VLC. Video player. The Windows snipping tool. Screen Capture Tool Space Engine Space Exploration Simulator Wikipedia Online Encyclopedia MuseScore Music Notation Software Audacity Audio Editing Software Handbrake Video Converter Zotero Reference Manager Desmos Com Online Calculator Caliber Ebook Manager Notepad++ Text Editor Visual Studio Code Code Editing Software Stud. I.O. Lego Simulator. Search Everything. Instant File Search Software. Latex. Document Software. Overleaf. Collaborative Latex. Contains music. Movies. Books. Software. Games. And web pages. Linux, Apache, Postgres, GCC. Various Linux-based OS's. Web servers. Compilers. Etc. Discord. Chat and communication software. OBS Studio, Streaming and Recording Software, Krita, Digital Design, R, Statistics Software, PF Sense, Firewall Software, OpenSense, Firewall Software, Freenas, File Server Software, GIMP, Digital Design, OpenSCAD, 3D Model Scripting Software, Malwarebytes, Malware Protection, Unity, Game Design Software, Online Diagram Software, Paint, Net, Image Design, 7-Zip, File Archiving, Plex, Media Storage Access, LibreOffice, Document Editing Suite, KeyPass, Password Manager, DaVinci Resolve, 
Video Color Correcting, Editing. Inkscape. Vector Art Software. Google's Apps. Google's Document Suite, Docs. Sheets. Gmail. Etc. Duolingo. Language Learning. Darktable. Photo Workflow a la Lightroom, and MPD, Mopedi, F. Os Music Player Demon. FX Solver, SciMath, Mathway, Math, Engineering, Chemistry Problem Solving, and N. Raykuva. Restores deleted files. Python. A programming language for quickly writing scripts. Fubar 2000. Freeware Audio Player. F. Lux. Day, Night Cycle on Monitor Color, Brightness. Fusion 360. Free 3D CAD, CAM Design Software. Steam. Platform for Game Distribution. Shazam. App that tells you what song is playing. Audio Router. Sound Routing. Arduino. Open Source Electronics Platform, Software is Free. LMMS. Music Studio. Kodi. Entertainment Center Software. Git. Version Control System. Cakewalk. Audio Workstation. Greenshot. Print Screen Tool. Irfan View. Image Viewer. Editor. Organizer and Converter. Team Viewer. Remote Desktop Software. Firefox. Web Browser. Wireshark. Open Source Packet Analyze. Disk Fan. Visually see how much space is being used on a volume. Beyond Compare. Compare two files, directories, whole trees and directories. VNC Server, Viewer, Remote Desktop Software. Type VNC, Remote Desktop Software. Ubuntu, a Linux OS. Winderstat, Graphical Disk Usage Analyzer. Oracle Virtual Box, Open Source Hypervisor. Putty, an all-in-one protocol terminal. ShareX, Screenshotting and Productivity Tool. Nanite. Tool used for installing and updating many apps at once. Rufus. Tool to make bootable USB drives. GNU Octave. Open source MATLAB alternative. Spacenifer. Disk space usage. E. Fixed Inkscape and added more links. Google Maps and Waze are so useful if still blows my mind that they are free. Waze does have ads that show up when you are stopped but it's still free and had a lot of great features. They have slowly been moving the more popular features to Google Maps too like speed trap reports and current speed and speed limit. Codecademy is an awesome site to learn how to use some programming languages. Doesn't get into the really advanced stuff. But it's good for a start. I'm going to save this like I have the other 100 useful Reddit questions I didn't know I wanted to be answered. And never look at it again. It's a website that has compiled psychology topics into easy-to-read modules. They have been compiled by psychology university professors to help facilitate free education for students. You can even download the ones you're interested as a PDF as many times as you want. All of this is free. Music. We take it for granted in this YouTube era but just a few decades ago. Music wasn't accessible to people at all and not even the rich had access to all types of it. Now this globalized era has given us countless options. Reddit coins right now. Just upvote shit and you may get some. I recently found this from another subreddit. Use it. I swear. You can isolate vocals. Drums. Bass from mp3. Files. You'll need an email address to download the isolated files. Instead of using my own email I just used a 10 minutes mail and downloaded it that way. Today I isolated the vocals from a song and it's surprisingly in good quality. But you only can use it from desktop. It's not meant for mobile use. Enjoy. Flight Radar 24. It allows you to see plane traffic live. Your local library almost certainly allows you to access free ebooks and audiobooks via Overdrive and the Libby app. Hoopla. Or borrow box. All you need is a library card and a pin. Which you'll probably need to get in branch, but really. Is there ever a bad excuse to go to a library? The selection might be limited. But if you want to splash out a little. You can get a year's out of state access to Brooklyn Public Library for $50. That's not as good as free. But it can be a lot cheaper than using Audible. Especially if you get through audiobooks at a real rate. Wanna know if that pic on the front page of Reddit is photoshopped? Take some skill to learn how to use but they have tutorials on the site. 250 free coins for participating in Reddit. It's literally people giving away stuff they don't need. 
want any more that they can't, don't care enough to sell. MOOCs. There are thousands upon thousands of college courses available for free. Some have a cost, but most of them have a free audit version where you get all the videos. Lectures. Content. But no certificate. So if you don't care about the certificate, you don't have to pay anything. I've done a few computer science ones. I took a few course e courses on machine learning. I took Harvard's CS50 course. I learned a lot of software engineering and web development from free courses. Another one I intend to take advantage of is called NAND to Tetris, which teaches how computers work from primitive Boolean algebra to actual functional operating systems. Look them up. Shout out to R. Freebies. This thread is their time to shine. Has a wide selection of icons. I use them for presentations. USPS and UPS both will deliver free packaging boxes, envelopes, bubble wrap, etc. to your house. Literally doesn't cost a thing and you can get like 50 boxes at a time. If you use Reddit, Reddit Enhancement Suite is a must for desktop with a lot of QOL options not available in vanilla. Also if you are looking for ways to discreetly browse Reddit here are some good tools. MS Outlook It makes the Reddit look like your email. MS Word Dit makes it look like a Word document. Code Reddit or Reddit Shell makes it look like code. Subdude makes it look like a Wikipedia article. Stack Reddit, Reddit is Stack Exchange. A few financial ones. Please note, I am not affiliated with these in any way. I just use them and really think they are great tools for managing online shopping. Budgets and life. They all have free apps as well. Privacy. Com is awesome. I absolutely love their service. It allows you to credit credit cards on the fly that are site specific. Set a spending limit on them. Make them one time only. Etc. So you can literally create a separate credit card for every single site you shop on. And be very comfortable in knowing that if they get hacked, your card isn't compromised. It's also super handy for free trial but must enter CC type things. Mint. Com, great budgeting site from TurboTax, so if you have problems with them, don't use it, it allows you to create a budget. Then automatically categorizes transactions from linked accounts to show you how you are doing with regards to your budget. It's easy to set up and adjust, and really helps to monitor where your spending is going. LastPass. Com, everyone should be using unique passwords for everything. Which means you need to remember them. Which is impossible. LastPass. Com is a great tool that manages them for you. Weather report with good graphics. Quick use and throw emails for signing up to shitty sites. If you're into PC building etc. Search for courses online. Track flights. Will add more once I find them in my bookmarks. Honey app. That thing saved me a good bit on different things. Open learn from the UK's Open University. Free courses for all levels of study. Samples of university materials. Study skills ND tie-ins to BBC documentaries. Everything under Creative Commons license so you can use it as you see fit. So many books are available online for free. Maybe not all are entirely legal. But if you're a fellow morally bankrupt person, then read away. Also, I owe a big part of my degree to Indian dudes giving lectures on YouTube. Some did a much better job than my professors. Camel 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 Com is really nice to track online prices to help you get the best deal. Also Black Friday is a myth and the sales aren't good at all. Pornhub Honey, you get discounts when buying stuff online. This is the most useful post on Reddit. At least for me. Wikipedia's reading lists. The article itself often holds a pretty good collection of relevant information. Yet for in-depth research it can be hard to find proper literature. Wikipedia always quotes their sources which often are the most relevant for a topic. Unless you aren't researching for your PhD. You can save a lot of time in literature research. Cards Against Humanity Online. That shit helped me survive high school. Duolingo. I have been using this for quick Spanish lessons with my morning coffee for a couple years now. It doesn't override the need to take classes for college credits. But I recently had to take a course and it was a breeze. There are a few hundred languages that it teaches and the mobile app makes it easy to do anywhere while waiting. Last time this was posted. I learned about letterboxing, fun, free, outdoor activity, atlas quest, com.
Libby, free library audiobooks and ebooks. Get it in the App Store, and free meditation retreats, Dhamma. Org. I'm definitely saving this post. Edited to include links. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.